Is Hulu's new Shogun show the best Asian show ever? Let's talk about it because the reviews are flying in. It seems like everybody likes the portrayal of the Tokugawa Shogun. Ah, uh, Andrew, we gotta talk about it. This is uh getting rave reviews right now. It's charting as the highest ranked Hulu show over the bear. Shogun fans declare it an absolute masterpiece after just two episodes because Hulu, unlike Netflix, they don't release the whole season at one time. Wow, so it's kind of got everybody on the edge of their seat, guys. If you have not caught this show, we're going to talk about it. David, you've seen the two episodes. I've seen the reviews. I've watched some of it. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah. Because it, it is, does it check the boxes of a badass Asian show, right? There's, there's badass, good-looking Asian people. They're killing bad white people. They're also killing each other. There's white people fighting each other. But there is a white guy who gets with an Asian girl. That is true. That is so. I don't know if you hold points against that. But Listen, anyways. guys, there's some controversy, even some geopolitical stuff. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Small Last Sauce at smallassauce.com, guys. Um, sold out right now, but we are coming back soon. Listen, Shogun Review, an extraordinary extraordinary historical epic with heart is it is an old school epic with dazzling new vision long story short andrew this is a remake of uh, shogun from 1978 which was a very classic series starring a british guy mm. it was beloved in the anglo world right but this one is different because it focuses more on the japanese side and they're actually speaking japanese instead of english right so do you think it's a uh, more i guess pro-Asian in that sense? It or is more pro-Asian. It's more balanced. It's more pro-Asian, and if you are, like, from the 70s, and you're like, you know, I just liked it when they would speak our language, even though it was unrealistic, you might not like the new version as much, but they do do a job of um, humanizing Blackthorn as well, which is the English guy. And long story short, in the 1600s, Portugal and Spain discovered Japan, but they want to keep it a secret from England. England and Portugal are at war, but then there's some English people who want to go to Japan and break up the Catholic rule and make it more Protestant. So, so basically, these are kind of like Europeans fighting over Japan, even though Japan is its own thing by now. Right, right. They're fighting over at least the trade rights. Mm. But in Japan, there's also a feudal system because the main leader died. His son is too young to take over. And there's five warring warrior clans that are essentially like vying for power right 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 and uh one of the leaders of the clans andrew is hiroki sonata yeah no i mean that's one of my favorite japanese actors very cool guy so i guess david we're gonna go through the comment section and some of the gripes and some of the things that people love about the show because overall people think it's a good show but there are it does not go without its critics right so let's get into it andrew it is loosely based off a true story of an English guy going to Japan and becoming a samurai. So, but this is not the last samurai story with Tom Cruise. No, but this... Hiroki Sonata was also in The Last Samurai. Right. He Hiroki Sonata also does fight along a lot of really good white people, like Keanu Reeves. Keanu well, Reeves is part Asian, though. He's part Asian, he but says like... Dule. I know, but Keanu Reeves plays non-Asian in that movie. Anyways. Um, Somebody said that this is the new Game of Thrones. It's the closest thing to Game of Thrones, but way more Asian. For me, that's why it appeals to me. Because mm. I like I never fully got into Game of Thrones. I'm not saying Game of Thrones wasn't really well made, but it was just so Western. Why wouldn't I watch the Eastern one? Yeah, and also I feel like this one's more rooted in realism because this doesn't have like the what the dragons and the sorcery and stuff that Game of Thrones would have. Well, they're actually talking about the creation of the Tokugawa Shogun, it, right? Right. Uh, and Osaka and Tokyo and all these different things in the Edo period. Um, some people, it does open up on a white guy. Like the first scene in the very first episode is on a white guy fishing off a boat. Okay, so... No, but I'm, I'm saying that some people were like, oh my gosh, is this the Tom Cruise situation? The last samurai Dude, Tom you, Cruise? I, I think it is funny, and I understand because I'm Asian and I have similar feelings, although it doesn't affect me that much. Where you like see a white dude talking to an, a hot Asian girl in a movie and you cannot help but think, yo, this white dude is about to get with her. Right. No matter the she, relation, it does not matter. She's smiling no, at him. It doesn't matter if they're enemies, if, the, if she has a husband, if he has a wife. You just have a feeling. You're like, if they're speaking the same language... They're about to get it on sooner or later. No, no. There is a scene where she runs back to all the other, like, women in the, like, the empire. And it's like, his eyes were blue. Blue like the ocean sky. 
Well, maybe that really was said, though. Maybe that is accurately. I, I, maybe historically accurate. It's possible. Accurate. Who knows? I'm sure the actual dude, you know, Williams or whatever his name was, he got with some Japanese girls. Anyway, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, totally worth the hype. Legit one of the best new series in a long time. Game of Thrones level television. Best series. No cap. A lot of Asian guys in particular, Andrew, they're hyped to see it. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Masculine Asian samurais. Yeah, and also I think as an Asian guy, you can't help up, help look up to the legend of the samurai and the shogun and how they operate, how badass they are. They're like warrior poets. They know how to do calligraphy, right? But right. they also know how to kill people. But they're believe like, in honor, believe yeah. in pride. But believe. they're also kind of like ninjas. But then it's like, you know, I, they're very cool. Yeah, it's funny. There is also a uh, hidden assassins in there and they're yelling out ninja ninja it's funny but anyway um somebody says i swear if mariko sama has an affair with that white boy i'm gonna stop watching this show i can't stand it right this was, yeah and that was from was that from like a girl or a no guy? from this was from a black woman oh yeah but um also other people there was people talking about the wma amf st wmaf storyline uh. however um if you watch the original shogun or see any clips from an andrew the whole thing was based on that. They actually downplayed it relative to how much it composed of the 1978 series. Right. Well, I feel like it's not really a remake of the past one. It's almost like inspired by the past one, but it's probably pretty different. I heard it's actually way closer to the source material than the one in 1978. Was. Right. Because the one the in 19, yeah, that was more Anglicized. Right. The one in 1978 is going to be heavily, heavily, heavily pro Anglo, but the source actual story is actually more 50-50. Right, probably. it was more about Japan. Right, right, right. Um, Somebody just said, well, you know, I'm just going to re-watch the old version because this new version feels a little anti-white, just like everything does nowadays. Mm. Uh, this was from now, some old British it, people. I got to ask, and, and and I can imagine feeling like a white person that it's a white dude that, like, you're not getting the props that you used to. But you're, you're saying an old white guy who, like, enjoyed the 1978 show yeah, series? Yeah, but, but you had your complete decades and upon decades of media and now it's just starting to even out the stories a little bit like it's not to say that all white people are evil but let's just acknowledge in these stories now that there were more evil white people white people weren't always the hero well, well you wouldn't know what it feels like you wouldn't know what it feels like to win for hundreds of years and now you feel like you're not winning anymore you know i don't know what it feels like to be a tall white man growing up feeling that you're the hero of everything and then one day feeling like everybody's just being critical of you right i don't know now, what that feels they're, like they're boiling the british sailors I, in a pot in the first episode i've never won that much in order to feel like i lost that much. right you don't possess enough to feel a sense right. of dispossession david a lot of people are saying some people are saying yo i like to show warrior more than this show Right. Like when you're comparing badass Asian shows because Warrior was also about a badass and, agency. And, yeah, and I also noticed that some of this crowd, Andrew, they're only into like really American things because Warrior does take place in America. Right. Like, you know how like some people can be so Asian American, they don't even like stuff from ancient Asia. You mean they think like the Shogun era is like too Asian. It's like too feudal feudalistic Japan. And like it's too, too samurai. Because they're like, Dude, no. let me tell you this. Asian history... Is way better than Asian American history. You know how many L's Asians took in America repeatedly to the up to 2024? Like, if you really analyze Asian American history, it is composed of way more L's than W's. No, I'm serious. You know what I mean. I'm keeping it real. So why would you tell stories about the times where just like we were just repeatedly taking L's? Why not the Shogun? It at least yeah, they were dominating the Shogun era. If you were a shogun, duh. It's nice to see some, like, dominance. David, you make a good point. You guys let us know in the comments down below how you feel about that statement because I, I think you're making a point and here. And then also, some Asians, and this is the whole geopolitical aspect, Andrew, some people don't want to watch something about Imperial Japan because, let's be honest, Imperial Japan, it didn't even try to take over Asia until 1895, but there is some direct linkage to, to obviously this this whole Shogun era and the Meiji yeah, listen, restoration. Listen, and everything. I was when I was watching episodes of Shogun, David, remember when I told you we were watching it together and I was like, damn, the Japanese were this badass. No wonder they thought they could take over the world. Like no wonder they tried Asia, to take over yeah. Asia. You know what I mean? And I was like, dang. Yeah, like I didn't I don't feel this way when I watch like the old Chinese epics where I'm like, 
oh yeah, China's gonna take over all of Asia. But I was like, I watched this. I was like, yo, the Japanese are this organized. They're killing Europeans already. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they're cutting off like the villagers' heads who are like not bowing to the yeah. samurai. But but I think it's like the same thing as like the whole Godzilla uh, minus one thing where it's like, dude, you're. But that that had a better argument because that was actually about soldiers who came home from war. Yeah, exactly. But I'm, I'm saying like, that this is in the 1600s. This is like way back in the day. Yeah, this is way before Japan became evil. <laughs> they they are talking about taking over Korea in in uh, Shogun a little bit. That's true. If I was Korean and tapped into history and felt some type of way, yeah, I could see that. No, I saw some a few mostly Koreans, but some Chinese people in the comments saying that you know they they can't get down with anything like representing that era. Anyways, David. How bad should Asians? All right, do you, can you make a case to everybody to watch at least one episode if they can? Get everybody Hulu should watch tri- an episode. Get the free trial. You know what I mean, like where you don't have to pay, but you got to put your information in. Get the free trial. Check out the first three episodes. Wow, you're saying it's worth getting a free trial of Hulu just to watch the first three episodes? I'm rocking with it, bro. Listen, I get it. You know, don't you know, root for the shoguns to like take over your mother country or whatever back in, in, <laughs> in the later episodes. But I'm just saying like, it's fire. Yeah. All right. All it's right, It's good guys. representation, man. Shout out to Hiroki Sonata. I always was feeling, I like the way him and Donnie and both played in uh, John Wick 4. Hey guys, let us know in the comments down below. Have you seen the show? Is this something you're looking forward to? It is considered one of the best badass Asian shows recently. I will say Warrior gets similar reviews, but you guys can debate about which one you guys like more. So we'll see you guys. Uh, Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.